you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. Hatun, Hatun, uh, three Muslims, Susu, Dudu, Mumu, whatever, they are making a video, and the title is, of their video, uh, looks like it, it's, it's okay to be a pimp in the Quran. This is the question, they ask it in the video, and they answer it, and they say yes, look like it's okay to be a pimp in the Quran. <coughs> uh, there is nothing, it's called secular Muslims, either you are a Muslim or not, and same with Christianity, there is nothing, it's called secular Christianity either Christians or not. Can you explain Quran chapter 16, verse number 29? Okay, let us go verse 16, chapter 16, sorry, 92. <clears throat> I don't want to hurt your eyes, but we have to do it this way. Yeah. Any Muslim want to help us with this verse? Who is a Muslim would like to help us with this verse? Somebody asking for it. Anyone? Because now, if I give the explanation, they will say, it doesn't say that CP. It doesn't mean that CP. <laughs> so that we get in English first, and we give the Muslim a chance to, to join us. Any Muslim would like to join us? Hmm? You know, this verse supposedly is saying that if you do make a promise, if you take an oath, keep your oath. Keep your oath. So imagine like there's a woman, she is making, uh, you know, uh, she's swine. Um, like in the old days, they use like two stick, you know, until now many people, women, they do it. <clears throat> to make a clothing or a, 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 blue, a blouser or a shirt or something for her husband or her son. So you make, you're almost done. And then you, you, you take your, the thread, you take the thread backward and that will destroy all what you did. So why you do that? But this is the contradiction for the Quran. Because the same book says, Allah will not take you accountable for your false oath. The same, the same book. I mean, this is really stupid book. If we go here, let's go to the verse first. If we go here in this verse, where it says in chapter 2, Allah will not take you accountable for your false oath, but he will take you accountable for what you meant. Anytime he mentioned that. Chapter 2, verse 25, 225, chapter 5, verse number 89. And if you take false oath, it's easy, you know. You do, uh, you know, uh, you slaughter an animal, feed some people, and it's okay. Allah will not call you to an account of false oath, but for your intention. So the other verse you asked me for, opposing this one, how you are saying to them, keep your oath and your promise. And here you are saying to them, eh, it doesn't matter really. So here you see that Muhammad is a very selective person. He is a false person. As an example, he took an oath in chapter of at tahreen that he will not have sex with his servant again and then he claimed that his god he told him why why muhammad why why you forbid yourself by taking an oath what allah made lawful for you he took an oath you can open the interpretations or the reason for the verses to come down and you will see that he his wife Hafsa she found him having sex with his slave Maria the cook Muhammad he took an oath swearing by Allah he will never do it again a few days after Muhammad he want to have sex with this woman again so he made the verse saying that Allah told him how 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 you forbid what is made lawful for you but we cannot find one verse in the Quran says 
that is lawful for him to have sex with Mary the cook because the Quran allow Muhammad to rape only women who they are captive of war Mary the cook was a gift to him not a captive of war and the Muslim they say to the black people oh Islam is against slavery the guy he accept her he accept her sister he accept her cousin depending on the story and then they accuse her cousin that he is the one who is having sex with her too and blah blah story uh, so when she found him having sex with Mary he made a promise that he will not ever do it again he swear he broke his promise he broke his oath and as usual Allah is ready for him this is why Aisha she said I see that your God he rushed to your desire Muhammad let us move this uh, comment you guys you cannot read it sorry it's in the middle of the screen I forgot see she's forbidden me for for me if you read actually even the Muslim comment about this story many of them they even deny it but it's there in their books <clears throat> do we have any Muhammadan so we have two crazy people only they call us the guy he's called himself Abdullah blah, 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 and the other guy ultimate fault who accept the translation and then he refused the translation in al-bukhari yeah actually yeah you are right uh, why they will not go to heaven anyway because you know uh, muslims they believe that when you have fornication it's allah who made you fornicate it's not you muhammad is a mentally ill person i mean he is the one saying that it, when you do fornication, Allah, he made destiny for you to do exactly what you did. So how he can be punished? How you punish somebody? You made him do it. You see, if you serve in the army, if there is a war crime, a soldier, he will not be punished by the international court of war crime unless he did a crime not based on an order then the one if he did not receive order then he will be punished for the crime he commit but if you are a soldier and your high command gave you an order to shoot a woman or shoot somebody he is nothing to do with the war the command is the one who is responsible in this case who is the command Allah who is the soldier you if you are a Muslim verily Allah has fixed a very portion of adultery which a man would indulge in which he of necessity must commit the adultery of an eye the lust of a look and the adultery of a tongue and etc and the only one confirm it is having intercourse so uh, according to Muhammad only adultery actually the real adultery is intercourse the, the rest is called a limam and this is not even a sin in Islam it's a small fault somebody's asking anyone answer please if anyone die without accepting Jesus like Hindus Muslim Sikh Jew will go to hell yes and not only that even Christians who accept Jesus if they don't accept Jesus and they mean it they will go to hell Jesus said not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so we don't believe in Shahada we believe from their fruits you shall know them if you don't like it eh, this is how it is if you think this is bad well this is foolish of you to say so because uh, if there is a belief compromise say okay go and do whatever you want accept whatever you want all of us we are okay well then a human being he left with no rule and everybody can do whatever he want hippies it must be there's only it can't be there's many ways you know like there is a there's a guy his name uh, Steve something he's a TV host you know the Muslim they have him and he says there is many ways to heaven he said Islam or Christianity it doesn't matter that's false in Islam the Quran confirmed only Islam will be accepted and the Bible confirmed only Jesus is the way Jesus said I am the way I'm the only way Quran trying to copy Jesus says only Islam in the Dina and Allah Islam 
Allah will not accept any religion beside Islam. So this guy, Steve, whatever his name, the idiot, he was in Dubai. You know, when they go to Dubai, they take off their pants, all of them, <clears throat> for the money. And whoever seek religion other than Islam will never be accepted from him. It's in front of you. Any other question? <clears throat> and actually, you see this verse here in front of you? This is stupid. Proving Muhammad to be false. Anyone notice why? Who noticed? Uh, GD, he is saying, Trinity is not pagan uh, thing. GD, are you a Muslim? You are a Muslim, obviously. Because uh, the second we mentioned the Quran saying the same, you change the topic. Guys, do you notice how Muslim they act? He was complaining that, is it right that in Christianity only Christians will go to heaven? When I showed him Islam saying the same, he changed the topic. <laughs> in the speed of light. Abdul, we, I can smell Abdul from, from a distance of one month journey. So is it Trinity is not a pagan thing? Well, so why your God is all about Trinity? Everything in your religion about three. Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Tell me why Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim? Why every verse in the Quran start with a three? Hmm? He changed topic. They are so fast in changing topic. They are so slow to fix in your electricity if you live in their town. You live in the Middle East, you call the city. There's a guy, he took a picture of himself when he was seven years old. There's a hole in his road. He took a picture of himself when he is 34 years old. The hole is still there. The same hole when he was six years old and the same when he is over 30. Almost 30 years gone and they did not fix the road yet. Why? You call the city, inshallah, brother, tomorrow we will fix it. And Allah never will, because the will of Allah, inshallah. Uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and uh, learn how to be tough on this cult. And tough mean to be bold, to say it as it is, not as they want not politically correct being politically, politically correct is an illness is a weakness if somebody is hiding something even forced to say something so if you are a Christian say things as it is yes we love the Muslims it doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are speaking your root, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure.